Looks like a uh, Palu versus an Olimar. Um, I'm not sure. I'll probably just say we'll leave it. Maybe just leave it on the back wall over here. Just stick it there. Oh, I hope so too. All right. Ah, so it's a Sheik, not an Olimar. Yep. Okay. So All right. Sheik versus Palutena. This is a really interesting. She got some buffs. So yeah. Sheik's uh, a little bit back on the map. Not, uh, yeah. not like not as uh, abysmal as when the game first came out. Yep. Bear actually works Man. now. But uh, she still racks yeah. damage really she fast. She does definitely do that damage racking. But uh. But I do feel like if Palutena is able to find her feet, her buttons are a little bit better. Yeah. It's gonna it's gonna come down to whether or not she can not stabilize to mention, uh, here. Palutena damage racks up damage so, yeah. uh, slightly faster, but he's yeah. he's uh, he hasn't been caught yet. It looks like Pal is having some trouble. There we go. Finding your feet. Definitely wants to use. I'm not going to it anymore. So if I need to lag. All right. Lock and rolling. Very, very well played from the Sheik. You've got to be very, stock. very careful against the uh, on platform. Yeah. And now trying to rack up damage again and get the full yeah. needles. And there it is. We're just about to lap the Palutena here. Well, maybe not. Maybe not. Ooh, good, good air dodge. Yep. Very, very telegraphed, but still, you know, pretty close. Nearly landed. All right. We'll see if the Palutena can get a stock off the top here. No. There we go. That was good. We saw, yeah, saw a brief use of the Palutena there. Uh, Definitely one of the moves that kind of shuts down most of what she does, just because Bell is surrounding herself with a very high priority hitbox. Yeah. And there you see the very, very kind of lingering meaty hitbox of the up smash. Not to definitely a sleeper. She's vanished now. Yeah. No longer has the ability. Yep. Yep. Right. It looks like Bell is at that awkward percent where, you know, she's not quite high enough to die, but really too high to be comboed. And this is going to be the part where if the Sheik's yeah, not able to find the kill soon, you know, he's really going to struggle here to close out the second stock. Yeah, um, he's looking for something there. Yep. Uh, this is kind of over. one of the weaknesses of Sheik. If the Palu can kind of seize on this opportunity to, you know, get back in this game, I think that's a route to victory there. Yeah. Okay. Tried to roll behind us and that. Oh, that's pretty unsafe, but Pelican yeah. will punish He really it. wants this up smash. Oh, there, there you got it. it. Found the up smash. That passed the uh, explosive flame. Yeah, but at 82%, you know, Pelican yeah. definitely has some sequences here that will kill if she's able to find them. Yeah, definitely. So I think upper air will kill definitely for sure at this moment. Well, it looks like the Pelican's out after a modest 38%. Yeah, she just ooh, ran cool. damage with the uh, there you the go. cancel F tilt. Continue to control that space with a really, really good uh, quick aerial. These up airs have been really, really uh, catching me. Oh, there, there we go. Time. Nice little defensive up option tilt. there. All right. I think the Pella may have... Whoop, okay. Oh, nice sidestep there. He this may the kill the team. If he's able to get the air shark. Oh, okay. He's looking, he's looking to get in this right now. He wants to use Sheik's Rage to yeah. get in the stock, which is smart. Yeah, Sheik doesn't have many opportunities to make good use of Rage, being pretty light. Yeah, that's a to... really long very last good hitbox. Coverage, yep. But uh, that's a very good recovery. Pretty tough. Yeah, it is, but uh, again, this is going to be another situation where just because the pal is at that awkward percent where Sheik's not really able to do much besides kind of run and gun here and there, unless he's able to set up for a kill option, you know, which is not the easiest thing to do for Sheik. The pal definitely has an opportunity to get back in this game. Oh, great. Or you could fall into the up smash. Yeah, very good there, play, very well played from the Sheik. I 
What was, did you see what the counterfeit stage was? I did not. Uh, no, I, and I didn't hear them talking about it either. Okay, so they, they picked Battlefield. Battlefield, okay. Pretty good stage for Palatine. Yeah, now. definitely, definitely. Um, the platforms are going to help her to kind of chain her aerials together. Unless we see a character switch here. No, oh, okay. So we're still sticking with Battlefield. All right. Yeah, I, I agree with the stage pick for. Uh, yeah. You do have to worry about some shoot specific things like uh, um, a like smash the, yeah. ledge. Yeah, the smash, the the smash definitely can catch on the platforms here as well. So the pebble will have to watch out for that. But, but uh, uh, this is a good stage because uh, you can shark with yeah. up air yeah. and airs. Not to mention, you can see there that the Paolo was able to tech out of the Sheik string. Uh, that, you're going to see that a lot here if Paolo is on her game. Uh, just because a lot of her combos are going to keep you at that height. And if you get your DI right, you will be able to tech and have a pretty good option to potentially get out of the string and kind of cut those short. Make the Sheik work that much harder for her damage. Good up tilt. Oh, oh, long very good, very box. good, you know, very good soul read there from the pilot. Just kind of, you shall be here. And the Sheik said, yeah, okay, I guess I'm going to be there. Oh, bouncing Fish not quite going to close this stock out. Yeah, you recovered high, which is pretty smart. Yeah, definitely, definitely. All right, oh, oh that looks like that's going to do it, yeah. I think so, there was a way to survive that, but that's going to be one first stock to Sheik. Now he's looks, now he looks after trying to end the stock with that up smash. The Sheik with Nair at ledge is still really strong this game. Given the Sheik's like very, very clearly aggressive posture, I'd like to see the Pelotena using you know, kind of a counter a little bit more aggressively here. You know, give the Sheik some pause considering yeah, when and how to advance. Yeah, not just come in and yeah, the kind of, kind of just disrupt the flow of Sheik's offense. Uh, I mean, it's pretty clear when Sheik's going to hit you and if you have, you know, if you're not in hit stun, yeah, that's definitely a kill. Uh, definitely a tactic you can use to give these aggressive kind of characters some pause and make them second guess themselves here and there. Good, good teleport. Get out of that yeah. situation. Yep. Yeah, but here we see Sheik regaining control of the stage and not Rushing quite going to do it there, but. Looks like the Palo's in full defensive mode here, avoid and evade at all costs. You can see she's taking very few opportunities to try and actually hit the Sheik. Yeah, pretty much just trying to. Sheik has a lot, hard, a pretty hard time killing. Yeah. So yep. you gotta find like a raw kill move or yep. uh, get him to an absurd amount of percent. Ooh, he almost oh, ran really it. did up, it, yeah. That smashed him. He's got a really good read on his uh, defensive options right now. Yep. Uh, yeah, spot back air. Sweet spot okay. back air at 190 to close out the second stock. Yeah. It's uh, it was a good try, but I think he definitely failed execution there. I think he could benefit for more from using grabs instead yeah. of uh, trying to. Oh, oh what a, what a very spike. good find, very good pick off there. Yeah. Definitely. And this actually isn't that bad for a percent that can be easily yeah. made up. Yeah, that's, that's going to be, be careful because, a... uh, as you can see. Yeah, she still definitely she can still commanding control of the stage. Yep. Ninety-six uh, percent. Yep. Now that's going to mean the S-Smash is a little bit stale to actually kill with for the next, you know, about 10 moves or so, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I would like to try to grab Yeah, I would like to, I think, I think the Pelu has been uh, kind of 
caught out here trying to shield grab a couple different times when the Sheik's move places her behind Palu. I definitely want to see the Palu kind of react without a shield options like you know, short up in air, short up down air, that kind of thing. You know, it's going to catch both sides of you and it's not going to care that they're crossing you over while uh, setting you up to kind of build some damage of your own, especially short up in air. That's a very good dragonfish to close it out. Yep. It looked like he really oppressed him in the neutral. Yeah, yeah definitely. Just yeah. let him breathe. I think Paolo definitely had some... I know I talked about Paolo basically the whole time. My younger brother is a Paolo main, so I've seen this character played for thousands of hours. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I think there were definitely some options that were just not used there. Something to take from this set was definitely... Um, uh, 